Not no money lender uh, Serve his ass no vendor Pussy sweet like Splendid Too bad I had to send uh -huh. Riding foreigns in the uh -huh. night Put the glizzy to the fight In case little homie don't act right It's bop 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 He's something hey. nice Riding round Got a backward hanging out my mouth I'm blowing clouds while switching lanes that be What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I will be reviewing the transitions pack. Today I will be reviewing this transitions pack. As you can see, I have got the website up. Um, this is the all-in-one transition pack. As you can see, it has 2,700 plus transitions in this one pack. As you can see, it's $29. Do not be scared by the price. I know I normally go over free transitions, but this one just caught my attention and it is just crazy how much you get for your money so this actually comes with transitions titles sound effects typography and motion presets as well as some color presets i will actually be giving away three of these transition packs for free to you guys thanks to the developers of this transition pack they have allowed me to give away three of these packs for you guys so all you need to do is check in the description or wait to the end of the video where I will tell you how you can win this giveaway. Um, and then, yeah, go ahead and just follow the steps and you can possibly win a transition pack for free. But without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what comes within this bundle. So as you can see, I have the preset files right here. As you can see, we've got the color corrections. So this comes with a bunch of different preset lots and then it also comes with video tutorials edited by them um, which you guys can check out if you do download or win the giveaway. Next we've got the motion graphic templates. So we've got scenes, um, so we've got different basic media and stuff like that. I'll show you guys what that looks like. We've got transitions, so these are all the different motion graphic transitions. And then we've got typography scenes, so these are all different text uh, effects you can use to make it a lot, lot more professional. Now next we've got the motion presets, so we've got the project file which is just your regular preset file um, input. And then we've got the video tutorial which will show you guys how to import that and add it into your project. Now I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can get these transitions and effects into your Premiere Pro. Um, it's very simple. And then as usual, I'm going to be creating something with it to show you guys how to use them and what you can make with these um, effects and elements. I've gone ahead and set up my Premiere Pro project as usual. If you guys do not know how to import clips and set up your project, go ahead and check out my Basics of Premiere Pro tutorial. Um, that goes over all of the basics and everything you'll need to know and it will get you up to speed. Now, the first thing we are going to be importing is just the transitions uh, preset pack. So that will be under our preset folder. So to go ahead and import that one, we go ahead up to these three bars and then we go import presets. You could also right click on your presets folder and click import presets. So that's what we're going to do right now. And as you can see, I've got it right here. Go ahead and find the motion preset uh, preset file and you just double click it and open it like usual. And now if you go under the presets folder, you should have it and you should have it right here as you can see motion presets. Now for motion presets, we've got the in presets which is go which goes at the start of your clip. So we've got fade, we've got position and we've got scale um, transitions and now we've got the out ones. And it's essentially the same thing, but for the end of your clip. Now I'll go over that a bit later when we create, when we start editing. The next thing I'll be going over is our motion graphics effects. So if you go up the top here, um, where you've got your learning assembly editing uh, effects and all these other tabs, go ahead and select your graphics tab and the essential graphics should pop up here. And now as you can see, I've already gone ahead and imported mine but all you want to do to, to import them is make sure that this is up on your screen on Premiere Pro. Go ahead to your files. Um, I'm going to be doing the motion graphics first. Um, so let's just do transitions for now. Um, it's the same for all of the motion graphics templates. So just go ahead and uh, do control A to select them all. And then you essentially just drag and drop them into your, into your essential graphics. But I've already got mine there, so we won't need to do that. Now, as you can see, we've got our scenes. Um, these are all motion graphic templates too. I've already got them all imported. So those will all appear in, in, your, in your essential graphics library. So as, we can, as you can see, we've got the basic media um, ones. If I just drag that onto my clip 
and this is just a cool intro sort of transition thing you can use and now to edit the text I can just select that as you can see we could change it to cool I don't know whatever text you want to put in um, and that's literally the same for all of your effects now down here we've got all our different animated transitions I will go over the transitions and all the other motion graphic templates um, later on in the video but, but for the next thing we want to add is our is our color corrections template so to import this it's literally the same go back to effects tab it's the same as our our motion presets go ahead and right click that presets folder go import presets and then go ahead and navigate your way to color corrections so as you can see right there go ahead and open that and as you can see it's down here in color corrections all right so now i've done a little overview of what's inside this pack um, let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff where we can start trying out these effects and i'll show you guys how these all work so as you can see i've got three different clips um, from three different games i'm going to be trying to put them all in one little edit so let's start with the fortnite clip i'm just going to as usual get the part where i sort of get the kill so maybe right here So that's pretty clean uh, let's go ahead and drag that onto our clip and the first thing I'm going to be looking at is these uh, motion presets so right here motion presets and obviously we're going to be doing the in one first um, so let's go have a look at what we've got here so we've got fade position um, we've got some cool bouncing effects so let's try let's try left see what this looks like That looks really cool. So these are actually really simple. You could either drag and drop them onto your clip and they will do and that will play the full length of the effect. Or you can go down to this new item icon, go ahead and select adjustment layer, press OK on that one, and then drag your adjustment layer above your clip. And then what we can do is trim the adjustment layer to however long we want our effect however long we want our effect to last so say maybe that long and then we can chuck that transition onto the adjustment layer and let's see what this looks like so as you can see it's a lot shorter so now if I wanted to make it longer I could do that as well but I think I like the look of that clean just quick one And that is really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that so let's go check out some of these other effects and see uh, which one we like best so let's go to the fade position scale and say try bounce middle and then maybe do left again so as you can see that kind of it's like a it comes out of the left so that could look pretty cool it does last a bit longer so I think we want this a bit shorter and let's see what this looks like now. I think I like from the left. So that also looks pretty cool. Um, you can definitely do some really cool things with these transitions. Let's go have a look at the overshoot high. We've got the bottom one. So that's like another bounce effect. And those are pretty cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab this other clip and chuck it right next to it. And we will go ahead and add another transition to between these two clips. So to do that, go ahead and grab your adjustment layer again and chuck that right above both of your clips and then go ahead and shorten it to however long you want it to. So I reckon this is a good length. We don't want it too long. Kind of want it to be like a quick, uh, smooth transition. So I think what we're going to do for this one is let's have a look at the position let's go have a look at the position scale maybe the bounce one again let's see what these look like so to add the transition between these two clips go ahead and grab your adjustment layer again chuck that at the start of your clip and then what we want to do is grab the transition that you want so let's have a look at this one So as you can see, that's pretty smooth. I don't really like the look of that transition though too much. I think I might go for the same one we used 
in that first clip, but this time I'm going to be doing it from the top. So grab that one. So as you can see, that looks pretty clean. So I've gone ahead and done the same thing for my last clip, and now we have transitions between all our clips. Now, the next thing I wanna show you guys is how to use our graphic effects and transitions. So, so go ahead back to that graphic, graphics tab. So down here, as you can see, they're all labeled as transitions. These are all the different transitions we get to use. Um, so these could be pretty clean. I like the look of this one. So let's go see what this one looks like. So all you want to do is drag that one onto your timeline and spread that between both your clips. So if I put that on top of these clips, um, instead of this transition, um, this is what it will look like. So for these types of transitions, I would recommend them for maybe the end of your video when you transfer, um, when you transition to like your end screen or where it says like subscribe and like, or um, maybe at the start of your video. Um, but these also look really professional if you're doing a tutorial video or some sort of like uh, review video. But for gaming montages, I recommend the motion presets like uh, the ones we were using right now. Now, as you can see, the ones labeled as basic media are text animations you can use for your video. So these would look really clean at the start of your video. So say I wanted to add one of these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move my whole uh, sequence back. And then I'm gonna drag this, this one that says hello over here. And as you can see, it's basically an animated intro. So I'm just gonna move that back. And as you can see, it's just a basic intro right now. So to make this a bit faster, if you press R and then hover over the end of this clip and then drag it shorter, that will speed the clip up. So as you can see, the clip is now shorter and the animation will be a bit faster. So this is a really cool themed text effect that you can use in many different creative ways. And this transition pack has like has literally thousands of these different um, effects you can use. So you're not limited to just the standard Premiere Pro presets and stuff like that. But moving on to how to change the text, all you wanna do is make sure your graphics, your motion graphics template is selected on the timeline. And over here, this tab should appear. You can go ahead and change all the colors. You can edit the motion graphics effects, and then you can also change the text. So the hello could be welcome and just like so, it's that easy. The next is the color presets or the LUTs. So if you go back to your presets folder and you go down to color corrections, you can see you have the black and white, cinematic, high contrast, hipster, Hollywood, nature, vintage, warm. So these are all different color LUTs that you can use on your uh, clips to add a different vibe or feel to it. So let's go ahead and look at the, uh, say cinematic. Um, so under cinematic, it's simple. It's just drag and drop on your hair onto the clip you want it on. So as you can see, and that changes the vibe to a more clear and it just changes the colors. So I can change that. Let's go ahead and try another one. Um, and they all look really good. So let's have a look at these black and white ones. So it's pretty simple. It's just drag and drop and you've got all these different options. So that's pretty much it for this preset pack. Um, if you go ahead to the link in the description, you can go ahead and purchase this for yourself. They have a whole bunch of other transition packs um, like this one that you can choose from. Um, and they're just really great because they're pretty affordable. Some companies will charge you like well over $100 for a preset pack that's just as good quality as this one. And this one is literally $30 at the moment. Um, so it's definitely worth investing in. As I said, I will be giving away three of these packs. Now, all you need to do to win this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed to me with the notification bell on. And then also make sure you have liked this video and leave a comment um, telling me why you want this transition pack and what you will use it for. Also leave your Discord or Instagram handle in, within the comments so I can contact the winners. I will be announcing the winners in my next video also, so stay tuned for that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. 
Again, the link to this preset pack will be in the description. Go ahead and check it out and consider purchasing it for yourself because it will definitely help make your videos look a lot more professional. And that's it for this one. Um, I will see you guys in the next upload. Peace. I love you guys.